Welcome friends to Zscape Landscape Designs. If you recall about a month ago I had a video on how to prune roses that was around January 1st and I mentioned we'll return in about a month about uh, fertilizing and some other pruning techniques uh, to do in the beginning of February. So that's what this video is going to be about. Now in San Diego, which is where I live, uh, springtime can come early at this point. It looks like I see things changing as far as lengthening of days and so forth. Things are blooming, including my 60-plus-year-old uh, trim it this year, but um, I'm glad I didn't because just look at all the blooms that's happening. And by the way, that was uh, Freddy the Frog earlier. But to go into the rose pruning, a uh, little debudding, you might say, is what we're going to do and some fertilizer um, that I'm going to recommend, which is this um, fish fertilizer, a 511 formula. It's excellent. Uh, mix it with water to feed your roses about, uh, oh, every month or so. I also add some uh, slow release fertilizer to my roses, but um, this stuff is really good. It um, stinks to high heaven, but um, that's what success smells like sometimes. Anyway, let's go over here to the roses. This first one here, I'm going to pan out a little bit, is the Floribunda that I have. Now, Floribundas, as opposed to hybrid teas or grandifloras, they kind of bloom differently. But as you can see how much this is leafed out in just 30 days, um, I pruned it pretty hard. So you can see a lot of the new growth. Uh, a lot of the buds that have swollen and what we're going to do is sort of uh, debud them because you don't want all of this to grow uh, but you want to train it and selectively uh, pick some branches that are going to grow into some flowers now floribunda and you can see here while i'm doing this floribunda means abundant flowers and these grow differently uh, than your hybrid teas but if you notice i am just pinching off carefully of course because there are thorns uh, the branches that I don't want to grow I want to channel the growth in the upper half of the bush and you can see down here these little buds see if I can zoom in I'm just gonna push those off uh, so that they don't grow I'm gonna come around here do kind of the same thing and you can see some growth below the bud union. So I don't want that to grow. Here's another one. Just kind of rub it off or rub it out, as they said in the movies. Uh, this one here I'm going to take off. And this one here. Here we have a downward growth branch. I don't want that. And then, of course, these down here. Just going to rub out or push off. So you do this throughout the whole rows. There's quite a bit here to do, uh, but this is the idea for the Floribunda. Now over here on the hybrid tea, <clears throat> you notice it's very different growing. Not as much growth, but still it has some new growth in just 30 days. So down here, I'm going to rub this out. Uh, I'm going to keep that one because that can grow out this way. Um, this one I'm going to rub out, and then right here, you can see I'm going to rub this one out, or just pull it off. And there's a few more around here too, where I'm just going to determine that I don't want these to grow, because they're going to intersect with each other, or grow the wrong way, or grow out of balance. And then they conflict with each other in the weeks and months to come. So anyway, you keep doing that. Um, you know, as the years go by, you can experiment as to how much you want to do, uh, taking off the new growth. But that's the whole idea in a nutshell. Anyway, thanks for tuning in. And check out my website at zscapelandscapedesigns.com. Thank you.